Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're doing well. It is time to play some Battle Royale. Yo, guess your distance battle. Lots of fun for the whole family. Let's get into it. We're off with a quite small lobby. Only six people. So we're straight into the end game. Is this Iceland? I think this is Iceland, Reykjavik sur suburbs. So we've got a mountain to our north. Do we have a street name here? Alpha Tangi. Okay. You get a lot of these Reykjavik outskirts. I wonder if it could be here maybe. Strandvegur, Helsvegur. Don't find an Alpha Tangi. I'll just start guessing here. For now. Surprised to be eight kilometers ahead of everyone. Could it be here maybe? What about up here? Well, anyhow, we'll make it through. Didn't find a street. I could be it could be one of these. Someone was off in the Caribbean. Okay. Yeah, it was up here. There was Alpha Tangi. So they're all called Tangi. I don't know what Tangi means. Maybe it just means street. Sounds a bit weird, but anyhow. Okay, is that a Bolivian hat on this lady? Wow, this is a quite epic landscape. Why do they have a bunch of rocks and branches on their roofs? Maybe just to keep them down. Keep them from blowing off during a windy night. I mean, the landscapes here are quite epic. That has to be said. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be either Peru or Bolivia, I think. I'll start off there, then maybe I'll try to move down. Okay, I'm a thousand kilometers ahead of Tom here though, so I might be safe even if we are behind these two players. Tom doesn't seem to be getting much closer. Okay, I kind of don't want to use too many guesses. Yeah, they used up their guesses there, I guess. And we were actually pretty much central Peru. That was not a Bolivian hat. That was a Peruvian hat. So write that down in your GeoGuessr notes under hats. Okay, what do we have here? Feels like the Balkans, maybe Montenegro. We have rifts, yes, which you get in Montenegro and Albania. Sagreda. Where could the coast be? We don't really see the coast. It's quite hilly. Montenegro is kind of tricky to, to pinpoint unless you see the coast or something. I'll just start us off here. Okay, Daniel Schuster is also in the general area. Might have to use another one. That doesn't help in that direction. I'll place another one. Okay, Tom maybe has not found Montenegro. In which case I will not have to use another guess. It is a risky strategy though. Trusting my man Tom here. No! Nope. No, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have underestimated Tom. Wow. So I think it actually registered my last guess, but it was still too far away. Tom just hedged on the Albanian Montenegro border, but it was surprisingly far south. Like, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess most of us went in the hillier parts, but it was down here. I guess you have some hills here as well. That's disappointing. Let's not give up that easily. Let's get straight in there for another game. I've got my arch nemesis Tom over here, who just uh, ended my game in tragedy over in Montenegro. So let's see if we can get revenge on Tom with his billionaire face. Let's go. This time it's personal, Tom. Okay. Feeling America over here. No front plate. I think that's allowed in certain. US states, but I don't know which ones, so it doesn't really help me. Crescent Street, got a little pond here or something. It feels like it could be quite far south. Could we have a state or something here? Plumbing and heating, no. Yeah, I don't know. Could be quite far south, I feel. But maybe not too far, I don't know. Um, 
Virginia. 600 kilometers behind. We're not doing well. Is it actually very far south? No, I don't think so. So where is it? Tom is slipping behind. Is he going to snipe me again? Not again, Tom. I don't want to use too many guesses here. Yeah, there we go. What? How on earth was this Nova Scotia? It felt like the American South. See, even Tom guessed Texas. Wow, that was a really weird one. We were all over the place. <laughs> At least we got rid of Tom. But yeah, that was a weird one. Okay, what do we have here? USC Viterbi. It's a famous, famous computer scientist. School of Engineering, USC, University of California. Right? Epstein Family Engineering Plus. Oh, that's awkward. Um, but they have a lot of... They have a lot of USC... No, wait. UC... UC USC, University of Southern California. Maybe? Where is that? Is it in this general area? I don't think this feels like Los Angeles, but it could be in, in that general vicinity. I am in first position here, so that's good. Yes, indeed. So we were in Los Angeles. Okay, we were... Here, University of Southern California. What are we looking at here? I think we're looking at Singapore. Yes, indeed. Singapore, always tricky because you're in this big maze of streets, but it's hard to actually identify where you are. Okay, so we have a big building in that direction. We're on Orange Grove Road. We're looking kind of south, perhaps, to the city center. That doesn't really help you, though, because that's kind of what you're always doing. I'll just start us off here. Orchard. Then maybe plonk another one over here. So that increases only by five kilometers. What does that mean? We say goodbye to Alderman. Okay, we we're here. We're into the top three. Okay, this is interesting. Could this be one of the American islands, like Guam, or American Samoa, or Northern Mariana Islands? It has that kind of vibe. American vibe, but it's also like a tropical island. Um, I guess it could be Hawaii too, but... Wait, where's the Pacific Ocean? Here it is. Um, maybe we'll start us off in Guam. They are quite difficult to tell apart. Actually, there's also, I think, American Samoa has been added recently. Okay, 6,000 kilometers. Maybe we are in this general area. Where's American Samoa? It's down here. That's another possibility. But I feel like this place is not so hilly. So maybe this Guam. They're getting closer. Yeah, it was. So they were guessing other random islands in the Pacific. But I was alone in identifying Guam. Is that, again, that weird combination of Pacific Island and USA? Okay. We are in the finals then. What are we looking at here? Feels like Central Europe. Maybe actually Russia or Ukraine. This kind of bus stop has like an opposed Soviet vibe to it. The feeling that the bus is not going to arrive for another three hours. If I knew my bollards, that could have helped, but I don't. Um, only four guesses on that guy. Okay, I don't know. Should I go Ukraine? Could be Poland too. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Okay, we have some houses over here, which will be useful. Okay, it could actually, could it be Lithuania actually with that house? My opponent is holding back. I'm going to try Lithuania. That helps out a lot actually. So we probably are in the Baltics. Didn't really feel like it, but try to go north again. Doesn't help. My opponent is not getting closer, so I think we'll make it true. Yes, we are. My opponent was getting lost in the Norwegian fjords. And we were indeed in Lithuania. So that is a solid win. GG, everyone. Some good rounds in there. Let's get in there for another game. I'm on fire here, apparently, which is nice to know.
not exactly sure what that means. I guess I've been doing well in the previous games. And we are off with just five players in this lobby. Wow, okay. Very few players. That could get interesting. So it means that it's uh, it's fully game on from the first round. Okay, this kind of feels like maybe New England. Any indications about towns or states? Not really. Oh, that's... no. I thought it said Maryland, but no. That's something else. Uh, what do we do? Start around here, perhaps. That does okay. I am surviving. Okay. Okay. Toronto. Toronto. As the locals say. Did not feel like Toronto to me, but... Hey, I'll take it. As long as I get through. Everyone else went Canada, actually, so I, I must have missed something. Okay. Feeling Southeast Asia here. What are we looking at? Is that... Is that Thai? Yeah, we got a Thai flag over here. How hilly is it? Not hilly at all, I think. Um, so I only have four guesses because I didn't get the country right on the last one. That could get problematic here because we're already into the top four. But I want to have to use too many here. It doesn't really feel like we're close to Bangkok, but you never really know in Thailand. These guys are guessing quite desperately behind me, but they're not getting closer. So maybe we'll make it through. Yes, indeed. So it was actually very close to Bangkok. There you go. Okay. Final tree then. What are we looking at? That's a very funny looking hill. Is it even a hill? What is it? The sun is to the north. Is there a Southern African vibe? Debswana. There's a mine, okay. Moi Peng. So it's Boswan, I believe. Can we find any of this? Moi Peng. Let, let Lakane mine. Where would you have a, a mine? Oh, there it is. It's quite a small place, but... Is it here? So we are on a... East-West road. It just continues. Maybe I'll just last second snipe this one. Uh, oh, no, it's here, it's here. There we go. So there's a bunch of mines in the area. Wow, yeah. Maybe it wasn't even the right one. It was. With a few more seconds, maybe I would have placed it on this road rather than this road, because we were going east-west. But yeah, that's a nice last second snipe to get us into the top two. This is a nice location too, wow. Okay. What is this? Where's the sun? North. Could this be Chile? The coast of Chile? We do have Spanish language here. They're building a football stadium. The Chileans love their football. We certainly do. I have seven guesses. My opponent has six. What is the coastline like here? I mean, Chile is a big country. It goes practically covers half of South America. So the question is, where do you guess? I feel like this could be fairly suddenly, but maybe not too much. Maybe around... I'll start around here. Oh, my opponent is 4,000 kilometers off. That's quite comfortable. Okay, they're getting closer now. I didn't actually see if this got us closer or not. But... Um, yeah, that wasn't needed. My first guess was actually quite good. We're not too far from Concepcion on this quite beautiful stretch of the Chilean coast. And so we have done it. With probably the smallest game of Battle Royale I've ever played. Just five players. Which gets you into the action right away. So I hope you liked that as well. Smash like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.